hey, if you're really dyslexic, like uh, my daughter is and myself, trying to learn words is horrible for her. So, turn into pictures, it's easy and she enjoys it as well. So, without any further ado, sentence, creatures eat you. So imagine, first bit's easy, C-R, Cree. But the word eat is in creatures. So remember that and make it easy. And if you forget the next bit, think of a little monster coming up from below. Creatures and then another monster with funny teeth. Maybe he's ah, growling at a little doggy. Creatures eat you. Creatures. Yeah, remember that bit. Then, probably an exercise. Think of a sentence. The two fat men probably need to exercise. So, two fat men. So think of two bees in probably, little chubby guys. Pob, Ab, Lee. And a little guy smiling, looking round at them so you know it's a Y. Any Y or G I do is a little funny smiley face. So, he's smiling them because they're exercising. So you know it's not an E. Then exercise, a funny word. You'd think it'd be an S, but it isn't. So, E, X. There's a guy with little dumbbells. And a guy stretching, exercise, so he's stretching, so it's not an S. Exercise, and E on the end, obviously. My dog keeps missing off the E's, but remember, E on the end of it. Anyway, uh, so probably exercise. There are two channel tunnels. Now, whenever I've got two L's in a word, I'll put two pairs of legs in a little person, so that reminds you. This one, no legs, but... Two tunnels. It's in the sentence. There are two channel tunnels. Here we go. Another tough word which you had trouble with, but you remember it because of this. Mars is a marvellous planet, said the spaceman. But planes can't fly there, only rockets. Also, Mars is a big rock. So, if you find other words in a certain word... Make it fun, make it interesting, so it lets you know about planet, like planet and planes. But anyway, Mars is Marv. That lets you know that Marvelous has an R in it. If you know how to spell Mars, you'll know Marvelous. Then, Marv, little spaceman, two legs. So, double L, there's the planet, which is smiling. Marv, a lous. Planet, said the spaceman. Now, Little fat belly on a spaceman, so you know it's an, a C, not an S. Spaceman. But planes, I put this in, planet and planes, so you know they're spelt the same, just different laps letter. But planes can't fly there. Only rock -ets. If you know how to spell rock, I will see K, you'll know how to spell rockets. Also, Mars is a big rock. Now, our main word there it is marvellous. Mars. M-A-R-V-E. There's his legs. Planet Mars smiling. Marvellous. Another word. Here we go. Hair appears in Nan and Gramps' ears. Even though I haven't spelled Gramps' is right. I think it's got an apostrophe in it. So, think of two people. Your Nan and Gramps with big ears. So you know there's two P's in a peer. And the word ear is in a peer. Hairs appear in nanograms ears. So if you think of the word appear, always remember ear is in appear. If you want to put disappear, you just add a dis or disappeared ed. Next one. In the shallow seashore, she decided to paddle. Shallow. Bit of funny one here. Think of a little girl, a word girl, woman, whatever, paddling and somebody uh, falling deep dirt down. And she's got boobies, sorry. But that'll remind you that it's got a W on the end. She's in the bra. C, sure. Might not be easy, but I'll come to that later in another sentence. And she decided. Now, most people are like, oh, is it an S or a C? Well, she's paddling. Think of a shark coming up with his mouth, little mouth. Decided. And then paddle. My daughter gets this one backwards. But a little person with boots on. So there's two Ds. Bad, duh, duh, and she's holding a stick to keep her up. And the dog's with her. So you know it's not P-A-D-D-E-L. It's P-A-D-D-L-E. Okay, got it. Good. Next one. She looked excellent in a gorgeous dress. Now, excellent. Tricky word. A lot of people, especially my daughter, miss out the C or miss out the E. 
So think of this girl. Fortunately, she's got a big nose. Unfortunately. So E X C for a nose. E for an earring. Two legs. Ent. Excellent. In her. Gorgeous. Tough one. So. Imagine a little G is someone watching. G in gorgeous is obvious. Then R, oh, another G. Maybe he's got curly hair. Smiley face. Big face first. O, oh, smile. S, gorgeous. Excellent, gorgeous. Eat, beautiful, tree fruit. Now I'll put the word eat, obviously, because eat is in beautiful. But the tough thing is the U. So imagine someone smiling in the beautiful word. And from trees, so you know it's not two L's on the end. There's a little tree representing the L. And then fruit, a weird sounding word. So imagine a basket of fruit and the little I guy getting some fruit. So you remember it's a U and an I. Fruit. Beautiful fruit. Flowers are not made of flour, but delicious gingerbread men and cookies are. So, the word flower for the plant, think of it as a flower and a woman looking at the flower. Sorry about having to do this, but this makes my kids laugh and it reminds them of uh, a woman looking at it. Uh, not made of flour, but flower. Now, the other spelling of flower, like the ground down corn. Think of a cookie and a bowl, a little spoon in a bowl, and an R obviously on the end. Oh, you are. Big word, delicious. Now I said about gingerbread men. So think, deli, guy, mm, I'm going to eat you little gingerbread man. He's like the I, okay? And then you got an O for the cookie, a bowl again, and an S. Delicious. Think of the picture, think of the imagery. Cookies. Double O for cookie and one K. Next one. There's a hole in the boat so it won't float. So hole. If you have trouble with it, just remember it's got an E on the end. Boat. Think of a boat with a hole in it. A little guy, pot-bellied fella. Oh no, my boat. And you know that it's spelt the same in the word float. Lots of other words which have that, like uh, coat. Think of some yourself. Oh, too many pages. Oh, bit tough one this one, but the first one's not bad. The talented athlete was absolutely the greatest. Now, talented sounds talent sounds as it is. I just think of a teddy bear on the end. Now, here's our little athlete. Ath. He's got a pole bolt and stick and he's jumping and he's got muscles on his arms. See? Eh to eh. Think of that. His muscles on his arms. Athlete. Absolutely. Big word. Think abs. Then, like we think of our garden. We've got a trampoline in the garden and he's pole boating our swimming pool. There he is. While well, our little doggy is watching the other guy pole boating him. There's the other guy, wee, bending off. Absolutely. The greatest. Look at greatest. It's got the word eating it again. I could add that into another sentence like I did here. So, athlete, absolutely greatest. So, great. You want to remember how to spell that? Think it's great to eat meat, but it's not. But hey ho, a lot of people like it. Probably it's not good for your brain. It's great, great to eat meat. Think of the little teeth about to eat the word eat. Here's another one. Amateur. Very, very weird word. Very weird spelling. But think, the amateur cook put his pet in the pot with the piranha. Yes, he did. So there he is. Crazy man. There's a little tea guy. There's a doggy going in the pot. And at the bottom of the pot, little piranha. Amateur. Put his pet in the pot with piranha. You might not need to spell it, not really, but there he is, little piranha. 
So he knows the R in it. And ah, someone's going ah, it's a piranha. Okay. The balloon burst. So think of a little guy who's been in his balloon. Oh no, it's going to burst. It's a double balloon. And there's a the balloon bursting. A lot of kids just meet, miss, miss out the U and could put B-R-S-T. So think of half the balloon left. It's just bust. A burst balloon. Careless cars crash. Careless, funny word. But if you remember the word car is in it, you have a better chance. So car less. And there's the road with the car going up in the distance. Careless cars crash. Careless. We rode the coach on the road to the circus. Coach. A lot of people have trouble with coach. So think of a coach wheel. So you know it's not a K. And then little steering wheel. Little fat guy driving the coach. And then just obviously chirp at the end. But if you forget that, think of a wheel and exhaust coming out the H. But the chirp at the end should be the easy bit. Circus. So you know it's not an S. Think of a little fat bellied clown. And somebody on a trampoline. In the circus. Circ o sir. We rode the coach on the road to the circus. I have missed a page. No. How you aware it's horrible to scare? Okay, now it's giving you a clue of aware because it's a weird word. R is in aware. And scare. R is in scare. Are you aware it's horrible? Now horrible, so you know it's got two R's, maybe a bit tough, but think of two little beasties. Ah, scaring little eye man. Uh, scare. Dogs in there. Now the word there, a lot of people think, oh, is it E-R-E? -E? But if it belongs to somebody, think of a little guy that it belongs to. T-H-E-I-R. That kind of there. In their little kennels. Two ends, like in tunnels and channels. Um, little. Think of the kennel. L on one side, holding it up. Lit. Two little doggies. L again, a doggy on the outside. Little. Two kennels. It's horrible to scare. I should have put it's horrible to scare two dogs. Then you remember. Two dogs in their kennel. Two dogs in their kennels. It's horrible to scare dogs in kennels. And children in houses. Now you have trouble with houses, think of H. Little guy smiling because he likes his house. There's the O for the house and the U for the smile. Houses. Horrible little and houses. Another one with eat turns up a lot. The beast eats and beats the little dog and fat man. Oh no. But if you think of a little dog and a fat man, you'll know he's in them words. Beast. Not B double E. Not double E. And not double E. E and an A. The beast eats. Okay, E and an A. The large, uh, my son said, hey, how about growing? Look, growing's in growling. I went, oh, yes, we can use that. If you see another word in something, make it into a sentence. The large, look, there's a guy, he's smiling, yes, but he's like, oh my goodness, a dog. Growly dog, two growly dogs, uh, coming to get me. The large growing, so you know, grow. Dogs were grow growled. Poor woman. Oh, she got a big stick. She's gonna fight him off. There's one growly, two growly, three growly dogs. Find up the woman with a stick. Growled at the woman. So think of the picture of it. And it works best if you think of a picture and you place it at a certain place in your house. Like place these pictures on a cupboard, then along to another cupboard. Go left to right, and your memory, your mind will remember because you read left to right. And you, it's called a memory palace trick. Anyway, so she couldn't follow because her legs were hollow. So we know that follow and hollow spelt the same. It's like the shallow water woman. Double L O W. Double L O W. Put a person in it. You remember two L's. Board games are easy. Now board, not B-O-R-E-D. So think of a board, the board game. Little guy, little chubby guy there playing on the board. Easy, like E-A, like in eat. Easy, but somebody's smiling because it's easy. So you know it isn't an E. So why? 
Board games are easy. This one's a bit tough. Depends how old you are. My kids, from eight year old to about 12, but this is a big old word. Now you'll understand the story of this in a minute. Don't allow, why has that woman got funny fangs? Oh, but let you know the A double L O W. Don't allow the two aggressive passengers with their two snakes onto the airplane, said Stevie the vampire stewardess. Okay, big story. But the point is two. Two aggressive. So you remember. Okay, it's two of them. There's the aggressive people. So there's two G's in aggressive and they got snakes. So two S's in aggressive. And passengers. It's all about snakes and aggressive. So they've got two snakes as well. So there's two snakes in passengers. Onto the aeroplane. Now I got my kids remember this by drawing an aeroplane like this. Little chirpy guy with his doggy. There's a radar. And the antenna to pick up the tower. And a person. Looking out the window. Then PL. Another person. Say it is. Little wife's in the back seat. There's the fin of the plane. And then the exhaust. Aeroplane. Said Stevie. The vampire stewardess. Now I said she's called Stevie. Because stewardess. Stee is in stewardess. And there's two more snakes. Vampire. Eat like I. Little head. Arr is the teeth. Where you go, little doggy? Oh, he's scared the dog. She's scared the doggy. S T E W. The teeth are the W. Steward S. Stewardess. Think of the picture. Put it somewhere around your house, along a table, on a chair, moving from left to right, and you remember the imagery. Your brain will remember it. There's another one where there's another word in a certain word. People of any age can put out garbage. Age is in garbage. So do you think gab, age. Chimney. My kids had trouble with this one, but obviously 1M. Chimney N. He's coughing and he's coughing. Ugh, chimney smoke makes me and my dog cough. So, in the word smoke, I'm coughing on the end of it. My dog is coughing. The K in it, obviously. Makes me and my dog Cough, funny word, weird sound, just sounds like C-O-F, doesn't it? But, there we are, curly cur, I could have had somebody cough in there so you know it's not a K. Oh, little fireplace, looks like a U, he's coughing, and there's a chimney. Cough-o-gopher, uh, however you want to say it. The ducks quacked equally loud. Now, I've done quack and equally because... These were letters, three letters are in each. So ducks, there's a Q for the duck. So you know it's a Q and equally, because my kids get confused, they just put a K or a C, equally. The ducks quacked, equally, and there's a little ducky, and if you want just equal, he's only got one leg. The ducks quacked, equally loud. And loud, and sound, have O and U. So someone's shouting, usually people don't smile, but he thinks it's funny. Loud and sound. Here's some interesting. How do cats communicate in their community? Now, I don't know where you live, but we have a next door neighbor, so we just, just think two houses. Their house, our house, and our swimming pool. Commune, and I'm little guy, me smiling at the cat. And see, cats communicate cats communicate did I say uh, did I get a sentence wrong whatever how do cats communicate in their community communicate and his little tail makes the e communicate in there communicate should have had a smiley face in I forgot about that <laughs> so two houses again swimming pool and little guy smiling t should be a guy smiling at the community Communicate and community. Pirates explore with their dogs on the shore. We had seashore before. Now I couldn't, before I couldn't think of what to do with seashore, but with pirates, a little fat guy pirate and his doggy again. So, and then we got this. The pirate ate lots. So you know the eight is in pirate. Eight. If you don't spell it, think, oh, that pirate was ate a lot, didn't he? 
Pirates, X, Xbox of Sport, Plur, there's Little Pirate and his dog, Explore, with their, see, I, so you know it belongs to him, Dogs on the Shore, Little Pirate and his dog, so Pirates and Explore. The secret agent was especially clever, but wasn't a gentle man. Now, secret, not too difficult, but a gent. If you remember that gentleman and gent is the same, and if you remember the sentence, you'll remember it. Especially, now he's an agent, so he's in the CIA. He spe CIA, she out. Double L for his legs, and he's got a funny knife. Oh dear, he's a CIA strangey man. Look out. He's got his Y is the knife, so it's spare C I A L L Y. Especially. Yeah? CIA should let you know it's not an S. Especially clever, but wasn't. A gentleman, no. Alright. Last two. Now, normally you think kids are shower hooray, but my kids love learning like this. They come in because it's Corona's on and nobody's going to school. Well, give me learn some stuff. I'm like, wow, I like the way you teach, Daddy. Well, thank you, kids. So, lawn just sounds weird. Law and law, L O R N. You think, wouldn't you? But no, and dawn. But imagine the sun's coming up. So I cut the lawn. There I am. I'm not that. I'm, I've been exercising, I'm doing good. Little fat belly guy, and there's the grass, the W's the grass. I cut the lawn at dawn. See, same letters in it. Dawn. W-N. But it's slower without my mower. So, slower and mower. Same centre bit. Two words in the middle, same. So think a little me, little fat me. Pushing my funky lawnmower, pushing out the grass. W-E-R. Without my mower. Slower and mower. Lawn and dawn. Are you aware that I really care? Now we had... I'm never aware before. Maybe did. So, ow. And ow. Aware. Care. They're both in that word. So it'll help you to spell it. Are you aware that I really... Now you don't know how to spell really. Double L. Why? Could have had a guy smiling at him. E-A like in eats we had before. So you know it's not double E. But that, so far, is it. Have you got any suggestions? Feel free to put them on. Any words you want me to help you to learn, then put them on. Bye-bye.